more than 1,100 dead in the conflict between the Palestinians and Israelis since Palestinian militant group Hamas launched a surprise attack on Israel on Saturday. Israel has vowed mighty vengeance. The coordinated infiltration by Hamas is believed to be the deadliest day of violence in the region in 50 years. It started with thousands of rockets across southern Israel early Saturday morning. The rapid-fire attack appeared to overwhelm Israel's vaunted Iron Dome missile defence system. It was followed by a multi-pronged infiltration by hundreds of Hamas fighters through the heavily fortified Gaza barrier into Israel. Israel has retaliated, saying it's targeting militant sites in Gaza as the death toll continues to rise. At the centre of this conflict is the small, overcrowded Palestinian enclave of Gaza. Israel controls Gaza's airspace and shoreline, restricting anything and anyone into and out of its borders. Gazans have lived under this blockade for 16 years since 2007. Hamas took control of Gaza in 2007 and has fought several wars with Israel since. The attack on Saturday comes just over 50 years since the surprise attack by Egypt and Syria in 1973, which sparked what's known as the Yom Kippur War or the Fourth Arab-Israeli War. Hamas leader Ismail Haniyeh has said the assault would spread to the West Bank and Jerusalem. The exact reasons for the attack are unclear. There's been escalating violence for months between Israeli soldiers, settlers and Palestinians in the West Bank. Also in the last week, some Jews prayed inside the compound of Al-Aqsa Mosque, a sacred place for Muslims in Jerusalem that likely inflamed tensions. Palestinian militants have taken more than 150 Israelis hostage as of Monday. Over 700 Israelis have been killed so far while over 400 Gazans have died in missile strikes and gun battles. Countries around the world have condemned the attacks and are calling for restraint. The Palestinian Foreign Ministry has denounced what it called a barbarous campaign of death and destruction by Israel. Hamas, which is the most militant group representing Palestinians, has called on Palestinians and other Arabs to join its operation. Its attack was praised by Iran and by Hezbollah, Iran's Lebanese allies. Israel sees the potential for a war that could escalate and open up multiple fronts. Some are also concerned the latest violence may also undermine US-backed moves towards normalising relations between Israel and other Islamic nations, especially Saudi Arabia. Read the latest developments on the Israel-Hamas conflict on straightstimes.com.